What if I told you that I could predict your AP exam scores? Yes, in just a couple of quick questions, you'll be pumped out a score prediction from a quiz I've developed. Now, for those of you who are new, I usually make educational and informative content regarding the SAT, ACT, and AP content alongside academic games content. And if you're new, hi, hello, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I'd love to get to know you better by giving you awesome content. Anyways, let's move on to the prediction. I'm going to give you 20 if statements. If you fit the statement, you'll add points to your score. At the end, there will be a curve where you'll convert your total score from all of the questions into an actual AP exam score prediction. Just a quick notice, I'm absolutely no expert and this video is kind of satirical. Take the results from this with a grain of salt, but hopefully you can calm the jitters that many have after their exams. Also, this test only takes into account the multiple choice and pre response sections of an AP exam. So if you submitted an artifact or other piece of non-test work, this won't account for it. With all that out of the way, get ready for the quiz, choose an AP exam to grade, keep track of the points you accumulate, and let's begin. If you covered all of the course content at least once during the school year with a textbook, add one point to your score. If you had an actual study plan for your exam at least a month before you took it, add two points to your score. If you used a review book to prep for the AP exam, add one point to your score. If you took and graded at least one full practice test before the actual AP exam for that specific subject, add one point to your score. If you slept at least eight hours the night before your exam, add one point to your score. If you ate breakfast before your AP exam began, add one point to your score. If you crammed right up before you had to enter the exam room, subtract one point from your score. If you finished all the questions on your AP exam's multiple choice exam on time, add two points to your score. If you had time to check at least half of the multiple choice section, add one point to your score. If you use the process of elimination during most or some of the multiple choice, add one point to your score. If you didn't use your eraser at all during the multiple choice, add two points to your score. If you used your eraser between one and six times during the multiple choice section, add one point to your score. If you used a mechanical pencil or pen during the multiple choice section, subtract 10 points from your score. If you felt happy and confident during the break after your multiple choice section, add two points to your score. If you actually ate food or drank water during the break, add one point to your score. If you finished your AP exams for response section on time, add two points to your score. If you were able to completely check at least one of the free response questions after the test, meaning you had extra time, add one point to your score. If you smiled at least once during the free response since you came across a question that easy, add one point to your score. If you left the free response feeling proud and confident, add two points to your score. Finally, say you had an opportunity to retake your AP exam. If you wouldn't take up on that opportunity, add two points to your score. That's it. You should have a total composite score. Now, I'm about to show you a grading scale conversion where you'll use that total score you have and convert it to a predicted AP exam score. Once again, this is mostly satirical, so take it with a grain of salt, but here is the scale. If you receive between an 18 to 24 composite score on the quiz, your predicted score is a 5 on the AP exam. If you receive between a 13 and 17, your prediction is a 4. If you received anywhere between 8 and 12 points, your score is a 3. If you have a score from 4 to 7, your prediction is a 2. And finally, if your composite score is a 3 or lower, your predicted score is a 1. Are you satisfied with your score? You can repeat the test for additional AP exams and generate a full list of score predictions before your actual scores come out. Also, comment below your predictions and whether you think they're accurate or not. Trust me, I read and reply to all comments, so I want to hear y'all's opinion on this and want to see in July whether this actually has any legitimacy or whether it's satirical bogus. Like the video if you enjoyed the quiz I prepared today. Subscribe to the channel to receive more fun educational content regarding SAT, ACT, and AP content, and turn on notifications. Why not? Be the first to get my content. Anyways, until next time, see you later.